I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on plotting curves and finding solutions to equations. Here is an excellent example. We'll first draw the graph of the function y equals to x squared minus 4x plus 1 and then use the graph to find solution of the equation y equals to x squared minus 5x plus 4. This is a very important test question and I hope its solution will help many of you. Now, there are many ways to graph it. You can always use calculator to find some points. So we'll, go it, we'll do it in small steps. What we are going to do here is we'll take some values of x. And then for those values, we'll calculate what y is. So, so in a sequence, we'll write down these numbers. We'll calculate what is x squared and then what is minus 4x. And then we are going to add 1, correct? So once you do all this, you get the value of y, correct? So then you get y equals to some of these, these numbers, right? So some of all of them will be y. So for example, let's start with a very easy value, x equals to 0. So if I write x equals to, let us say 0 here, in that case, what do I get? So x squared will be 0, minus 4x will be 0, we get 1 here. So the value of y will be 1. Now if I take x equals to 1, okay, so if I take x equals to 1, then square of 1 is going to be 1. This will be minus 4, and this is 1 always, right? So when you add this up, you get minus 2. For x equals to 2, we get a point which is here it is 4, then minus 8 and plus 1. So that gives you minus 4 plus 1 as minus 3. Correct? Now, uh, for x equals to, now let's see on this side what values are we getting. So we'll check the value for x equals to minus 1. So if I put minus 1 here, square is going to be 1. Minus and minus makes positive 4 and 1. So we get a positive value of 4. For minus 2, square is 4. This is 8 plus and plus 1. We get positive 9. Sorry. Uh, 8 plus uh, positive 8 and uh, 4, 13, right? Positive 13. So let's continue with some more values on the right side. So if I substitute 3 here, I get 9 minus 12 and plus 1, which is taking away, we get minus 2. So here you see now, we got kind of a minimum at minus 3, and now it is going up, right? Let's also try one more value, which is 4. So 4 square is 16, minus 4 will be also 16 with negative sign, and plus 4. So now we get a positive value of 4. So we'll begin with this value of at x equals to 2, so we get x equals to 2, we have a point minus 3. So let's put this point on the graph. Minus 2, uh, x equals to 2, we got 1, 2, 3. So that is the kind of vertex. On the other two sides, as you move one unit to the left and right, we get value of minus 2 and this. And then we get a value, which is uh, for 4, 4 squared is 16, this 4 gives us 16 minus, sorry, this was 1, that is what I was thinking. This is 1, right? So this will give me 1, it has to be 1, right? So the next value of 4 gives me 1, right? Okay. Now we can actually use the properties of a parabola. This is the axis and then we should have symmetry, right? So, so do you see this is symmetric? So it should have been 1, so, so it is symmetric. Line of symmetry here is x equals to 2. Perfect. Then the next value on this side we calculate it as, uh, as 4. Now, this calculation is also wrong. 1 plus 4 plus this has to be 6. I'm sorry. A lot of calculation mistakes here. 6, right? So, so the next point here for minus 1 will give me 6. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six. That is the point. Okay. Now you could also use the concept like this of steps. Now from the vertex, the steps if the coefficient is one are one, three, five, seven, and so on, right? So I'm very familiar with this and normally we use this concept. So you'll see here that you go one step, right? So this is uh, going up by one step first and then one, two, three, and then you go five steps, one, two, three, four, five. That is correct, right? So some calculations were wrong. So take care of these calculations and then uh, you can figure it out. If you add seven, you get 13. So that is a correct value. Okay. So what we finally get here is a parabola. Now when you sketch a parabola, this uh, it has to be a very smooth curve connecting all these points. So normally if you get the vertex and the coefficient is 1, you can check 1, 3, 5, 7, these steps, they should give you the next point. right? But anyway, sometimes it is required to show the work. In that case, you have to do all this. Okay, so the first part to draw the graph is absolutely clear. We have done that. Now, second part to this question is, use the graph to find solution of this particular equation. Now, these two equations are slightly different, right? So, what equation we have to find solution for is x square minus 5x plus 4, right? That is the equation which we want to figure out. When we say solution that means we have to equate this to zero is it clear to you so we need to find solution of this equation we have graph of x square minus 4x plus 1 so how do i get minus 4x here to get minus 4x i have to add x here right so i get minus 4x and to get 1 here i have to take away 3 then we get 1 we can do this operation on both the sides so we'll add x and take away 3 from the other side also then what do we get then we get x square minus 4x plus 1 equals to x minus 3 so that means we already have this particular graph right if i draw a line x minus 3 intersection of line with the graph gives us the solution perfect so that is the concept let us sketch this line y equals to x minus 3 now so 1, 2, 3, that is the y-intercept. Slope is 1, so we get rise over and that is first point. Then we have this point, right? So from here you can go up and that is the next point. So the line, you can see, goes through this parabola and we do get intersection at two different points. So these two points are the solution of the original equation. So the solution for us is this one and that one, correct? So we can write down our answer, and the answer here is, this is 1, 1, 2, minus 2. So we get 1 minus 2, and the second point is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 1, right? So the second one is 4, 1. So these are the two points which give us the solution for the second equation, which is x squared minus 4x plus 4. So in this particular video, you learn a technique of solving quadratic equations graphing one and then writing the other as equivalent on one side and then something else on the other side and that something else when drawn if you have a point of intersection that will be the solution so i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best